Hello and welcome to Let's Try. We're trying Circle Empire Tactics. This is the uh, third in a series uh, of kind of like loosely connected games. They're, they kind of uh, span across different-ish genres. Um, all of them are kind of like trying to hit that note of uh, fairly casualized but still fairly deep strategy. Um, and I think this one hits that note pretty well. Um, full disclosure, I have key provided by the dev. Thank you very much, dev. Appreciate you, bud. Thank you. Um, hold on. Animals are doing stupid things, yo. Why are you doing that? All right. Okay, so we. this is a game primarily made with multiplayer in mind. I, like, very obviously. Um, I am going to play single player just to give you an idea of what kind of game this is. We're going to go with the humans, obviously. I, I will say, um, just just to give you an idea of what I think of this game, um, I started a game just to try and figure out the mechanics, um, and you know, figure things out, and I couldn't stop playing it. Um, I, I know that's such a, like, a tagline. You're going to see that back-of-the-box quote kind of thing, but for real, like, I was like, ah, I just want to finish this game because... Um, like half and half, I was enjoying it. And also it's, it's a very addictive format. Um, so I, I think it's actually, it's a really cool game. So let's, what is Circle Empire Tactics? Let's have a look. Um, so we have our main character here, our king or whatever, commander. Um, and this is like basically, um, like think Rome Total, uh, Rome Total War, but like in its most simplest and condensed format. Uh, sorry about that background noise. I don't know what that was. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're choosing a place to take over. Uh, it doesn't matter at this point in the stage of the game. They're all pretty much the same. Um, it's still it's we're gonna hide the tutorial because I'm gonna teach the mechanics. So for you know our first few battles, we start with our commander and uh, one unit. That is to say, we have one unit. We can buy more of that unit. So uh, we have kind of a global. Currency meaning um, we can spend this money outside of combat as well as inside of combat um, we, we can use it to buy more spearmen to make certain combats easier We should do that just you know just for the first combat. It, it makes sense to, to do to, to buy one um, I've been playing a few tactics a few of these so I, I know pretty well how uh, how well these some of these um, uh, These attacks work they they these, th that spear attack is really good. It's almost always a one-hit kill. There you go. That's what a, a fight looks like. Very simple at first. They do get a little bit more in-depth later. Uh, obviously, depending on how well you do, uh, you're going to get more rewards. No, this is not really... I would say this isn't really the kind of game where you're going to want to retry for the perfect battle every time because um, depending on what kind of combat you're taking on, uh, it might just not be doable to get all of those stars. And it's not like, it's not one of those kind of linear uh, games where it's like, okay, you know, here's here's one puzzle and then here's the next. It's more like um, you're kind of take, choosing how much you want to take on. And uh, it's actually more of a free roam game in a, in a lot of ways. So let's, uh, we, we got this um, cool token. We're going to put this on our spearman. We can also... No, we can't put it on our on our commander just yet, apparently. Uh, oh, that's... I'm not sure. I guess he doesn't have abilities. He just has uh, these um, kind of trait abilities or trait tokens. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that on there. Keep working. Oh, he does, okay, I guess it was just a health potion that first. was split across. Okay, so we, we've got some gold. Um, gold is earned both by winning battles and also passively from uh, previously claimed land. So we can see here we have uh, a farmland that was the first one we owned. We can upgrade it um, by spending some gold and then it will earn more. Basically every time we do a battle, it'll earn a bit more money. Um, we could free this land, but this is strength seven. Uh, I think we could probably take it on, but what would might be smarter is to move over here where there's some more challenge level ones. 
we want to take things on at a at a pretty yes, casual right. basis. So I'm gonna. I don't even think I need to buy a unit for this because that's gonna be two kills right there. You basically get um, a grace period of one free turn in the beginning. There's another win. Um, you know, you, this I say you don't want to restart battles for the stars, but the stars are still good. You still want them if you can get them, um, because they earn you uh, basically these kind of rewards. These are. Um, extra tokens and the rewards here take the form of uh, things you can use to Im improve your units um, as well as new units you could and I generally choose new units you want to have I, I'd say as many units as you can because you have a lot of room for growth in the beginning um, free will choose number of casts I'm not a huge fan of this I'm not a fan of either of these a fan of arrows is fine I like it okay, and it's okay for it's it's pretty good for javelin in the in the beginning. We're gonna throw that other token on the healing. It basically means when I when we use our healing pot, it's gonna do extra healing. I I pretty you know that was pretty obvious, but it's a you know just wanna cover the bases here. Um, all right, so we're not probably not gonna be able to kill this dude. What we will do is we're gonna get our dude on that gold mine, and that's gonna. We're going to be able to mine a little bit of extra gold. May as well, since he's not going to be able to hit that other dude. And honestly, I think I'll just do the rest with the commander and just let him collect that gold. Ooh, they, they switched places. Trade places. Oh my god, stop trading places. You do have a, a time limit in basically in every combat. Um... You have like a time limit of like five, ten, ten-ish turns. It usually tells you. Uh, so yeah, we didn't. The battle was won by turn seven. We didn't get our quick victory, and that sucks. Actually, I think I would like to retry that one. This is a bit of a different generation. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, you know battles are generated in a sense, but they're very loosely generated. Uh, you're not going to get the crazy kind of replayability as you do in like say. Um, you know, a, a Binding of Isaac or a Slay the Spire kind of thing. I'm actually going to get him to defend. He should be able... Um, that defend still means they're going to attack as long as they are attacked, kind of like in Civilization or something, you know, other strategy games like that. But that extra, that defend is going to give him some more health and give him the ability to fight fight back better. Um, so we can't actually do anything with this yet because we don't, we've, we've run out of places to put it. Uh, we have a bit of money. Um, so the way the, the priority for upgrading tiles is you may notice that different tiles have uh, a different terrain. So this guy is like a desert. This one's like a farmland or grassland. Over here we've got like volcanic. Uh, and depending on the terrain, it's easier to upgrade or more difficult. So these these guys here, they're only 300 gold each to upgrade. And in the desert, it's going to cost 600. I'm pretty sure the volcanic is like 900. So it's it's a lot. Um, I do think it's worth upgrading. Uh, in the, even in the early game because that's just going to gain you more money over time. But there is another thing to spend money on. Something we want to uh, probably think about doing. Is you know er, as early as now um, is we can buy from the shop uh, t tokens that will upgrade our units. And uh, we may as well do this now, actually. So we only have the one... Well, we have two units, technically, because we have our commander. And we have our uh, javelin spearman, basically. Uh, we could buy this added token, and we'll still have 500 gold left. And basically, I find, even for the hardest battles, 500 is more than enough you need than, than you need for buying units. You generally don't have to buy that many units, unless it's like a really tough battle. Uh, and then maybe you're going to look at one to 2,000. Um, so we're going to buy that guy. Uh, and we'll throw him on the Spearman. So that's going to give him a bit more health. Sorry, uh, damage on their on their melee attack. Not their Javelin, though. The Javelin barely needs it. The Javelin does a really good amount of damage. Okay, so watch out. The monsters will soon, soon start attacking. So um, this guy over here... Is going to attack in three days. That means they're likely going to attack this tile. They're just going to take it. They don't have to fend, you know, do a combat like we have to when we're fighting something. Um, it says hard, but I honestly think we could take that. There's only only the two 
two dudes, and these guys are not too difficult. We can buy a couple of extra spearmen. Um, I'll I'll do two two spearmen. Can we reach them? Unfortunately, not. So we'll just leave it at that. Can we reach them now? Yes, we can. Let's uh let's do two spear. That might be overkill. Actually, this one. That one, that one uh, isn't going to reach. There's no point in throwing that spear. Okay, so that was pretty good. Now we... Apparently, we did not kill this guy. We killed the other guy instead. Which is an interesting thing that happened there. There we go. We didn't even lose any guys. So that was good. Uh, I really like the wall, and I'll tell you why. Um, I, I'm, funny that they offered the wall this early. Um... The wall is actually a really fun little, um, there's a way to kind of exploit it, which I really like. Let's, uh, let me see. So we want this can melee attack. It's expensive, but it basically makes the wall like very, very good. Uh, and then we can improve its melee damage. Um, and basically that makes the wall a very interesting kind of tactical, like, passive damage where if we can get you can you can buy units whenever right like there's no limitation here i can buy it now or i can buy it um you know through the match right so if i can get my units in there and i can only i can only build around my my units right if i can get my units in there then um i can actually build walls around the enemy and then they'll, the the walls will start doing like passive damage, um, and I've I've won a few battles with that uh, with that method. It's actually it's really good. Um, okay, well we keep getting this heal target. It's not not exactly helpful to us right now. They say strength three, but this looks like it's gonna be tough. Mine everything. That one might be a bit. Easier, although that, there's quite a lot of units there. Um, okay, well, it says we can do it, so I'll, I'll believe it. Um, let's gold, our gold pop production is 400 every time we do battle. 300, we can, we can increase that by 50. We'll do, we'll do that a couple times. This guy's gonna uh, attack in one day, so unfortunately, we're probably gonna lose one of those farms. I don't think there's much um, in the way of penalty for losing a farm. You might lose one farmer, so you have to pay another 300 to get that farmer back. Um, we could basically make, like, we. Th this is a different objective. We only have to mine the mines to win this one, so we, we just have to get those those done. Um, it takes a certain number of turns to actually accomplish that, but we could guarantee a victory here by just like throwing some walls around us. Um, might as well kill this guy. You do get a little bit of gold for for killing killing dudes. Actually, um, let's not kill that because when you kill a unit, you they, they when when a unit kills another unit, they take its place. And I don't actually want to move off there. There we go. That was that was easier than I was expecting. So this is going to give us more casts of a uh, um, an ability. So we'll definitely want that on javelin. That means we can throw javelins twice. Oh, by the way, the multiple arrows at angle. Um, this will this basically throws an extra javelin. Uh, create duplicate projectiles, each flying near the target position the number of projectiles is two the thing is, is i'm not sure i've never been able to kind of work around this because i'm not sure where those projectiles are it's it's not clear to me uh i do wish that information was a bit more transparent we could take on this guy but i don't know this seems like a lot so uh what i think i, I will do is gonna i'm just gonna move into that gold we'll throw we'll throw our no, we won't actually. We'll move into this gold. This guy is just gonna throw a javelin and we're just gonna hunker down. Why not? 
And that way we can fight these guys one at a time. I can throw my other javelin. It did not mean to move, but as I said, when you when you fight, uh, you take the place. We don't want to lose our commander. We lose our commander. That's an automatic lose. We can just have this guy defend on there. He'll fight whatever whatever you know decides to to meet him there. Perfect. No quick victory, but that was still uh you know no losses. That was good. We still, this is our third heal target. If we could sell these, that would be nice. This is a level two, uh, however, so it is worth replacing one of those. So now we can, we should be able to buy our can melee attack. I, I really like this, and honestly, I think it's worth grabbing this one as well. Then we'll go and we're going to upgrade our wall with extra melee damage and can attack. Uh, we can go and get our, our farm back, and yet yeah, it does look like we will have to upgrade it again. Uh, I'm not going to do that now, however, because it uh, will take the rest of our money. So, not not an, an ideal way to spend all the rest of our money. So, um, why don't we... This is a good opportunity to try and show off the wall tactic. Not that it's a very particularly clever tactic, but I do like it. it I just like the novelty of it, honestly. So what we'll do, and the nice thing about the walls is that you can shoot through them. You can shoot out through ours, that is to say. An enemy wall, um, the, the projectile would be automatically blocked by those walls. We did a little bit of passive damage. We can run in there and do some, some more passive damage. We just want to defeat all hostile kings, so this would probably a, be a pretty easy victory. I'm just going to have him uh, hold out there and... The nice thing is the walls also count as allies, so once you build them out, you can continue building them out every turn. Easy. Um, we do want the healer. I found the healer, like, they're very much, they're, they're very good late game. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of them, uh, in the early game because, like, that extra heal doesn't really, uh, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I I shouldn't I sh shouldn't like um, say it's it's not good. It is good, um, and we can make it better. Like so, basically they they will slow units down. Um, this we can turn this slowing ability, uh, this kind of like passive slowing ability, into an aggressive attack by improving it with things like oh yeah, it takes twenty damage. So uh, it's gonna do a bit more. We do want to um, go to the shop and we'll buy another one of these for the wall. So that's going to make that, that tactic work even better. Uh, I don't think I've fought invisible units yet. That, that seems interesting to me. So yeah, you basically want to work your way around the map um, and uh, like gain uh, resources in a safe method so that you can eventually fight the boss. This game kind of reminds me, I've used this uh, comparison a lot. Um, for, okay, maybe we don't want to take that on um, for certain games, but this game does kind of remind me of uh, desktop dungeons. And it's like, it's got some depth to it, but it's also pretty, um, you know, it's a, it's a nice kind of like coffee break dun uh, game. That being said, it, it I was playing this game for a good two hours and I still wasn't close to really finishing a game. So I would say um, if you're looking for something that's quick and breezy, this is maybe not it because uh, it, it's going to take you a little while to actually finish a game. Um, you know, I wouldn't say that as a criticism uh, at all. I, I, I think I actually kind of like its length. But um, I will say that, you know, gauge your expectations if you're looking for something like that. All right, so now we're going to throw some walls down. We can get it in there and do some, you know, nice extra passive. Throw it in there as well. Um, the nice thing also is the other thing. You know, maybe this, this tactic is a little bit OP um, because uh, the enemy will also, like, seek out 
to you know seek and destroy things that are aggressive to them you know anything that's really ours um so by doing this we're also creating extra things that the enemy is likely to fight that isn't us and this one we only have to survive to round nine we don't really have to do more than that so i might as well gain some extra gold um from those mines and uh kind of take it easy we won't get the quick battle and that's fine we don't we don't need to get every single star This is our first first time seeing catapults. So this uh, this one makes our that unit cheaper. We could like give that to our spearman. Spearman is one of the few units you can buy a lot of. Well, I guess you can buy a lot of the wall as well. But the wall is already very cheap at 50 each. I suppose if I gave it this guy, how much would it cost? How much would it cost to, to make it? 25. Okay, I mean like by half. That, and Certainly, there is an argument to be made um, for that. Also, we should throw a couple of these on defend, and that way they get more health when they defend. They're getting 20 health. Yeah, that, that would be a good idea. Um, this is definitely the kind of game where you want to, like, experiment, mix and match some of these tokens. The, you know, it, it, the game definitely, like, recommends, like, you, could, you can come up with some pretty interesting uh, combinations of things. Um, you know, it has... Abil like abilities have kind of a broad concept to them, broad mechanic to them. It's like, you know, this is, uh, our, you know, our, like our healer has a, you know, a blinding light, but it's also just like a passive aggressive move that it applies. So you can take that passive aggressive move and improve it and change it and do interesting things with it. You can maybe maybe make it stun. You could maybe make it apply certain effects. Um, and that makes for some very, uh, you know, nice flexibility when it comes to forming strategy. Too good for you. Um, I would like to go this way, but I don't know. We should be able to take this on. It says hard, but I, I disagree. Yeah, I mean, there's only two. Okay, there's, there's, there's five units. Okay. There's five units. So this time the enemy has some walls. The enemy walls, however, are likely not going to do damage to us. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna want to move around a little bit and start attacking one of these walls. Otherwise, we're not gonna be able to do anything. Honestly, this might be a good time to buy some extra spearmen. Okay. So now we can kind of start doing some damage. Um, I don't know if we. I've never tried like placing walls next to other walls. To see if they, they do damage. Oh, they apparently form some kind of weird barricade. That's interesting. Oh, also you can Q move. So I can tell our, our commander, like, move here first and then attack. And that way I can, like, you know, maybe form some kind of, uh, you know, pincer attack. Alright. So we've got... One set down, the other barricade is, is done. I'm a little bit worried about um, how much time we have left. Not sure where we can... Okay, we're at round six of ten. So we have four rounds left, or maybe five. I'm not sure if maybe the tenth round is also uh, something, uh, you know, a round we can use. So we can use up some of our javelins. That should do quite a lot. We, we, gotta, get, we gotta get in there. I'll go in there and then attack. All right, get get in there. Oh no, they died. Okay, you are just gonna defend, Commander. You get in there, and um, actually, get. Hmm. Yeah, you, no, you just you just kill, just kill. I'm surprised they didn't attack. So I guess they are uh, Rangers after all. So we're on the ninth round. Let's say goodbye to that uh, quick battle. There we go. So we did. We lost out on two stars, but honestly, I'm just fine with us. Uh, winning. So this uh, genie is going to give us more casts. Um, we could do, I don't know what we would put that on. Maybe, maybe blinding light. All right. So um, you might be wondering, or you might ask, uh, what are the stakes? Uh, what, what happens when you lose? Um, I think that's handled 
pretty well. Um, basically, you have the option, the free option of retrying the battle, uh, you know, try and improve how things went. Um, or you can take a hit. You could surrender. Um, area of attack ability. Oh, I didn't know that one. Slower movement. Um, you can you could take it. You can basically surrender and say like I, I don't think I can actually win this one. I, I over uh, overstepped basically or over committed um, and bail on that. And um, oh, that would cost everything. Okay, sorry. Let's buy a level two added melee. Um, and then you lose a level and you have uh, sorry not a life. You lose a life basically and you have three lives. I don't know. I'm. Pr I mean, I think it's pretty safe to assume that once all your lives are gone, you lose. You basically lose the campaign. Um, but the campaign, like you know, it's it's long for um, you know a coffee break game, but it's it's pretty short for some like you know for a strategy campaign game. Like you know, for a Civ, this is pretty short. So or even for like a Heroes of Might and Magic, which I'm sure people would uh, you know very fairly uh, compared this to so um you know it, yeah like i i think that's very fair you know it, it still it means that there still still are stakes um and you you don't feel like oh well nothing matters because i can try as many times as you want because there are like basically different tiers of commitment oh both our dudes died i think we're still gonna win though yeah, we did win. It's, a, it's an interesting one. Uh, we can put that on Blinding Light as well, but I don't think that would be worth it. Also, we should put these on the heal, and that way the heal will actually do more damage. Sorry, heal more. <laughs> okay, so that was, a, that was a pretty big victory because then we've opened this set of combats, and these are going to be very easy. As we'll use our javelin, fight this guy. Oh, this is gonna be a really quick one. For my prince. For my people. For the king. Oh yeah. Oh that was that was really good. Okay, so th some of these are interesting. Automation is an interesting one. Um I am not really sure why you would want it or how to use it optimally, but it basically means that it, it's like one ability you you're not gonna have to think about too much. Um which is cool, um, but then like multicast is kind of nice because then like you know say I use javelin uh, or throw that on javelin, that means that um, not only do I get uh, does it like do it is like twice increases number. Oh no! It wait what? Yeah, plus one times each round, and then you get the number of available casts. So you basically it casts it again, and then you also get another cast so it might actually be worth using that like having that over say multiple arrows because then it can be a bit more picky choosy where those arrows land um okay everything else is fine we can we can take on another combat this is just mine uh, the the stuff again we should move the uh the healer around a little bit As we'll throw some walls down, or at least there. I mean, yeah, it costs a little bit of extra money, but you know, you can't put a price on safety. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I mean, maybe you can actually. Okay. So this is um. Not as not as good as I was thinking. Okay, we gotta we gotta kill you. That was a that was a pretty shoddy victory. I kind of want to retry that. Just straight up um, took that for that took that for, one for granted. Okay, um, and the turns. Remember, you get that one one turn grace period, and uh, I kind of want to. Summon another spearman this time instead of just walls. Although I think the wall there would be fine. I'll do three just to make sure they can't move diagonally. And I'm going to move over here. We're just going to use those javelins and make sure that those... Um, oh, 
Interesting. Make sure that those uh, mines stay stay on. Okay. I'll have to move him over. Okay, easy, easy, easy. And then this is, we'll throw a javelin here. Can we use it again? I don't know if that does it again or it's the same business. Okay, that was much better. We actually got everything that time. So we got another multiple arrows of angle. Um, we could try the invisible wizards. We, well, let's buy something first. How about that? That's the same. That's the same. We could do, um, extra melee damage. Let's do, let's get two of those and that way we can improve some of our units, like, by a lot. Um, for instance, we could put one of these on here, and then this is doing three times 90 now. Um, we can throw this guy, well, actually, we could throw this on here. So this guy is doing some really nice damage now. Um, and, you know, tokens are not necessarily gone to waste, because, um, you know, we're going to get more units later, and then we can just, you know, throw those tokens on them. So let's try let's try this uh, wizard battle. This might might be tough, although I kind of doubt it. All right, we're gonna have to move up. These silver mines are worth less money, but they're they're not worth less. <laughs> um, all right, so we just have to kill hostile the hostile king there. Sometimes it's a good idea to aim past an enemy because I'm pretty sure this is gonna they're, they're gonna duplicate that attack. They're gonna do it again, um, and so this this enemy is in the way, right? So it might be that the first one hits this one, and then he ha still has something to shoot at. I, I believe that's how it works, but I might be wrong about that. I do like whenever you move the spearman, there's like a good chance he generally says, I hope my mom's okay. <laughs> I just, I think that's, that's pretty endearing. I don't know. Um, all right, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep going a little bit here. Uh, but this is like, that's ba this is basically it. You know, things ramp up in difficulty. Um, in terms of tactics, I don't know how, I, I wouldn't say... The tactics are necessarily super deep, but how you mix and match the abilities is, is kind of where uh, the game sings, you know, like things get interesting. Um, so I, I think you will have some fun with that. I think, like, think of this almost like um, an auto battler, but you, it's it not, wow, that's a bad description, isn't it? it I mean, it's an auto battler in that, you know, you have that kind of like um, drafting, kind of casual drafting um, nature of it. Um, and you, you're, you're just kind of picking and choosing abilities and it's, you know, there's less, less brain power involved, but that's not a bad thing. You're, it's, it's very much built on the addictive nature of its, uh, you know, casual strategy. You can recruit plus three caravan in each battle. Nice. I don't know what the caravan does, to be honest. Abilities, chariot, follow, summon, ammo bag. Oh, okay. So if, you know, we want, we could uh, have, like, the, the ammo bags, I haven't made use of them, but basically you uh, you attack them so that you get extra ammo. Uh, you know, we have a bit of extra money right now. We should upgrade some of our farmland. So now we're getting 2k per turn, or, or per, per combat. Uh, it says we can do this battle, but I'm not sure I agree. This one looks like it might be hard. <laughs> Keep, me alive. Keep me alive. Okay. So how about we throw down an ammo bag there, and then we, uh, move our dude up. Actually, okay, you throw your ammo bag there, and then I'm gonna move you up here. And we'll, we'll do some stuff with them later um but for now i am gonna make great use of the javelins this, this round 
I have a funny feeling we're not going to be okay this round. You know what? Let's throw, throw down some uh, walls. That'll, that'll make things better. Walls always make everything better. Oh, man, those cavalry. Those cavalry took me out. Huh? Oh, we just need to get the flag. We don't need to actually, like, defeat anything. <laughs> sure, let's have the caravan fight. All right, we, I'm pretty sure we'll win here. There we go. Okay, we got our archer. The archer is kind of a mixed bag because, um, yes, they have ranged attacks, and that's nice. Uh, but it also means that they, uh, once they're out of arrows, they, I don't think their attack is all that great. Deals 50 damage. Their melee attack, I guess, is 2 times 15. Okay, I mean, that's, that's nice. Can we do, we, so we could do an extra 20 damage here? Is that, did that actually improve that? Yeah, 50 plus 20. Okay, so, you know, th that's pretty nice. Increase the duration. So we could also dodge arrows, makes the target invisible to opponents, will be cancelled when attacking or using abilities. Dodge 100% of arrow-like projectiles. So that's kind of nice. Um, so when we dodge arrows, this guy is going to go invisible. Which is cool. I haven't fought ghosts before. I'm not sure how tricky they are. But um, let's let's try it. I wouldn't mind showing off what a f what failure looks like, you know. So let's just um, try our best here, see what happens. Get our commander in there. I think it's generally a good idea to throw your commander in combat. Yes, they are a lose condition, but it doesn't it doesn't matter too much. Okay. What? I don't know what that ghost uh, icon meant. Oh. Hmm. Well, I mean, things are going pretty well, I gotta say. Can I... I, I can fight... Okay, so I'm gonna break that aim... Uh, this is one of the reasons I haven't really made use of ammo bags, is um, it takes a turn to get that ammo back, and I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know if that's worth it. Let's throw some... Uh, Walls everywhere, so they do a bit of damage. Hope my mom is well. It's my duty. Too good for you. I don't think they actually got their javelin back, so I'm not sure. Maybe it doesn't work for uh, for spearmen. Well, we we did well. Quick victory and no losses. I'm I'm honestly amazed. Okay. Um, more casts. We could do more casts. Uh. I'll leave it for now. So we could try and do this this one. This one is probably going to be pretty difficult. When I tried it in my game, this one was like basically I, I an auto defeat. Like I couldn't do it. This guy's got creatures health points are increased by 125%. Sorry, 35%. And they have plus 810 health points. So they have a lot of health. They do two times 30 damage, which isn't too bad. Pretty sure we can take that. It's, that's not an automatic lose. We'll so move the commander in, if only just to uh, build some walls. We'll shoot some. Uh, we'll shoot some uh, some arrows. Oh, that didn't actually hit him. Did it not hit him? It didn't hit him. So we got to move the archer up, I guess. Build some walls. He can probably move in there, so that might not be great. So let's let's do that as well. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, that, that's that was very um, reminiscent of the uh, experience I had the first time I tried that middle one. So surrendering, we lose one life. Because it's, you know, we, we could try and make that happen, but I, I really highly doubt. So, um, here's the thing is that now, like, we've we've completed almost everything on this side of the map. This is our ultimate goal is to get down here because there's a final boss down here we need to defeat, right? 
Uh, every time we take a turn, obviously, uh, that's going to reduce attacking turns, like turns until attacking. So then we're going to start losing farms over there. So that's kind of a blow, but it's not really like you can do much about it. Oh, we don't want to actually buy one for 6,000. We could buy this, and then we could um, put this on the wall. And that way we could build walls around units right away. That seems broken, but uh, maybe that'll work. Let's see. And this will be the last one because, uh, honestly, this is... You, you you have the experience... Wait a minute. Oh, around any unit, so any of my units, not, not necessarily... Uh, okay, I gotcha. Um, can we... Can we shoot some dragons here? Yo, I, I, I am not trying to move you. I, I am not trying to move you, yo. Okay. Throw our javelin in there. We can maybe get some ammo. I don't know, the ammo just it doesn't seem worth it to me. Even, like, if we are using it on the javelin, it's just not great. Ooh, 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 ooh. Our commander, like, almost died from that. So we gotta... We're gonna use that healing potion. Maybe they'll be able to survive. Okay, so that... That was the... Our commander did survive, only barely. We should be able to... I mean, we should get our healer in there. That would probably be a smart decision. Huh. Can we get some walls around these guys? Okay, I think we can just barely do this. It's gonna be close, though. Ah, oh, we did win! Wow. Wow. Incredible. Um, okay, so why don't we um, forgo cost for extra health. That'll make this uh, unit a little bit nicer. And that's going to do it for uh, Circle Empire Tactics. I think this is a really, really great game, honestly. Um, it's, it's something I'm probably going to end up playing in my off time and, like... I would like to see what a win is. I'd like to see like what, you know, there were a couple of other starting races. I'd like to see what that is. I might even try a bit of multiplayer just to see what other people are doing. Um, this is a really cool one um, and I'm really gonna enjoy that. Thank you again, Dev, for the, for the key. And um, if you uh, found yourself enjoying this video, maybe hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.